welcome back to the channel everyone today's video we're just going to walk around and highlight most of the christmas products or sales that are going on right now in micro center here in tustin california now a lot of these prices that you see today will not be indicative of the black friday sales but a lot of these prices right now are better than what they would typically see in fact uh, other stores such as best buy and so forth have started dropping prices like crazy so one of the biggest highlights right now for the end of 2024 have been these ultra wide monitors i have never seen crazy discounts and sales on this form factor of technology but uh, we're going to take a look at a lot of the technology here in the store mostly highlighting the ultra wide monitors laptops raspberry pi and some of the other pc peripherals here in the store so i hope you guys stick to stay tuned to the rest of the video because i will have a special announcement and new product unveiling mention and we are back micro center 2024 Doing a little bit of Christmas shopping. We're gonna check out and see what they do have. But currently we know uh, they got some good deals going on right now. In fact, you can pretty much buy a Raspberry Pi 5 for the same price of an original Raspberry Pi 4. So you guys should definitely get, a, get up on that. We got the Stream Deck pedal that's probably on sale right now. So we're gonna take a few trips around the store and see what they do have available. Um, I still need to get me a drone, and currently I am using the DJI Mic 2. So if you guys, this is one of the best microphones you guys can get for creative artists right now. 349 comes with two different microphones and the rechargeable battery pack. So let's go out, have some fun, take a look around the store, and I have a surprise announcement towards the end of this video. So make sure you guys stay tuned, like, and subscribe, and I'll catch you later. Let's get into it. Get a look at this monitor. Look at the curvature on it. This thing is $15.99 would even take up most of your desk space. This is a G9 57 inch. I don't even know if I could rock with this. Um, I just picked up the Samsung G8 34 inch and that's perfect for me because even with this aspect ratio, you won't even find a lot of videos online, even on YouTube that are in this aspect ratio. So my monitor is the, uh, the Samsung G8. It is a 21 by nine uh, format, not 16 by nine, but I believe it's 21 by nine. And there are videos that won't even take up the full screen. Not even video games uh, are even, not all video games are even made with that particular aspect ratio. Uh, very cool monitor. Again, this will give you that full surround view, but this is a little bit much for me, especially at 57 inches. So if you get something like this, and you have a standard YouTube video, you're only gonna see it from here to about here. Yeah, you're only gonna see it from about here to about here. And it's gonna be in a 16 by nine format. So you're just gonna have black bars over here, but over here, sometimes maybe at the top or the bottom. But again, not every video is in that ultra wide format and not every video game uh, is in that format. And then also too, if you do play certain games, it'll stretch out the entire screen. So you'll just have that one long look effect, like watching a tennis match going from side to side. So. Uh, Pretty cool technology, but keep in mind, if you're gonna use a, a monitor like this, uh, really good for video editing when I use uh, Adobe Audition, Premiere, After Effects, things like that. That is excellent for this type of monitor, but uh, gaming and just watching standard videos, just keep that in mind if you're thinking about getting an ultra wide format, especially something in the range of 57 inches. That's a bad boy. All right, so this is the Samsung G9 49 inch 55K monitor. Uh, this one here is a little bit more doable and I believe this might even be uh, the newer model because of the imports. I'd have to take a look at the back of it. But again, uh, this was a lot smaller than the 57 inch that we were just taking a look at. But notice the aspect ratio is a little bit easier to deal with. It's a lot easier to fit it on your uh, computer desk, but it's not as blatantly over overly noticeable as a curvature on this. So the longer you get, the bigger size you get, that curve really starts to become uh, noticeable. But uh, great monitor, great effects. I believe the response time on this is 0 0.03 milliseconds. Um, I'll have a full review on the Samsung GA, which is very comparable uh, to this particular monitor. The only thing I don't like about it is, uh, we're not talking about the computer. I know those are the computer specs. We're looking directly at this uh, monitor here. It is on sale, 
The only thing I don't like about it is the menu option. It is really slow uh, trying to navigate your ports, switching from HDMI to DVI, and then just kind of going through the home screen. But the cool thing is, unlike some of the other monitors, is this particular model does come with a remote, and it is a smart TV. So you can play all your games on there. Uh, you have your Netflix options as well. Uh, you also have the Samsung app on there, so you can watch all of your different TV shows. So really cool monitor. I know that there are some other ones. I even saw a YouTube video of some other company selling something like this for about $699, uh, and it was 120 hertz, I, definitely, I believe it was. But again, I believe this one goes up to 240. The 34 inch that I have is 175 megahertz. But again, the cool thing is it is a smart TV. So if you guys need a deal to jump on, that is an excellent price to go ahead and get an ultra wide monitor like this because there are some around the same price range that won't give you a remote and it does and it is not a smart TV. So those are just some things to kind of be aware of this Christmas when you guys are shopping. All right, here's another cool monitor we're going to take a look at. This is the LG 45 uh, inch this one that goes for a thousand dollars currently on sale it's a curved inch monitor and again i'm not a huge fan of the whole curved monitor especially when they start getting really big but it is really nice if you're using it on your desk as a corner monitor so or if you think you're just going to sit right in front of it now uh, one of the mistakes people have been making over time and then even this christmas is they were going ahead and getting one of these particular monitors which is fine but they're using it for their xbox or their playstation now uh, keep in mind this particular monitor has the refresh rate of 240 hertz that is only compatible with your computer if you're using a playstation 5 or an xbox you're only going to get 120 hertz out of it you're not going to get 240 so if you're gaming and you're trying to get 240 hertz refresh rate please keep in mind that it's only for your video card and only for your computer but uh, for a thousand dollars this is a really good price especially um, I don't know if this has a remote or not. Again, I'm just looking at the price tag and what I'm looking at it right here. But if this game monitor has a remote and has different apps on there where you can watch different programs, then I would think it is a good, good buy. Now, if it doesn't, then I wouldn't really consider this a good buy at $1,000 for this price range because there are com other comparable monitors right now that will pretty much give you the same spec, same price range. It will give you a remote and all of the additional apps. So uh, keep that in mind when you guys are shopping this year for 2024 Christmas season. Let's see, this one here has HDMI, DisplayPort. That's really good. Um, if you guys remember the original version of the Samsung G8 monitor, which is about a year old, had the mini display port on there. And I know Linus Tech Tips and a few other guys, they really didn't like that uh, when they were... Uh, when that first model came out however the newer version does have the two hdmi ports and a display so it is a much better buy than the original version so we have a full display port here uh, a full display resolution of 1440 which will give you a 2k resolution really good for gaming really good for pretty much doing everything that you need to but again uh not every video or YouTube video that you see is in an ultra wide format. So typically when you keep this in mind, if you're gonna use this for gaming, it's fine, but make sure that particular game you wanna use is going to display in an ultra wide format and not stretch it out all the way. Uh, but fortunately for you Call of Duty players, I did play Call of Duty, uh, cloud gaming aspect wise, it is ultra wide and it is sensitive to that. So uh, another good monitor, it is for that price, but again, hopefully it does have those compatible apps with it. So while we're currently looking at some of the ultra wide monitors, I want to kind of just give you guys some tips about going with one of these. So even though these are advertised at 59 inches, 57, 34, and so forth, uh, the only difference between these two, is you can see this one here, uh, this is a 43 inch monitor. So as you can see, this one over here is ultra wide, but that one's a 47 inch. Let's just make sure we're correct here. So, okay, this is a 44 inch. This one's 43 inches. Which one looks bigger to you? I would say obviously this one. Again, this one is maintaining the 16 by nine inch aspect ratio. So the only difficulties that I've had with ultra wide is when I wanna lay in the bed about maybe 10 feet away or so, kind of watch TV or maybe even play a video game. You can't see all the maps or maybe read some of the things on the screen on an ultra wide format. Now again, 44, 43, they're the exact same size, but because that one's in the ultra wide format, this type of monitor is going to be harder to watch further back 
than if you got a monitor like this. So if you're interested in having a computer desk monitor, working on your monitor, let's say you want to sit six or seven feet back, maybe 10 feet back, it's easier to read a monitor like this, gaming, read the cut screen titles, look at the little map that would be on the bottom of the screen as opposed to looking at it on ultra wide. If you're going to use an ultra wide monitor and it's best to kind of stay within the nominal distance, maybe two or three feet or, uh, uh, range away from the monitor than it is with this. This you could probably sit, you know, a few feet back. So does that make sense? You got it? All right, so yeah, so this is really good if you want to sit back. This one is really good if you want to stay right in front of the monitor and have that surround view experience. Again, uh, both the same size, but each one of these will perform differently depending upon how you want to use it. So, because I was trying to really enjoy my 34 inch kind of laying in the bed. I'm like, yeah, you know, it's a QLED and stuff, it looks nice, but it's a little too far away when I was trying to play Call of Duty and read the cutscenes in terms of what I was trying to do. I was playing that one mission where I had to assassinate the guy, where I had to sneak into that church and he was partying on a boat. Well, I, I couldn't see what the instructions were and where he was because I was too far back. But again, that's a 34 inch monitor, but it's not gonna be as big as something like that. So hope that helps you guys trying to make a purchase decision for this year. All right, so as we mentioned earlier, we have all the Raspberry Pi 5s and the Raspberry Pi 4s, and they even have some Raspberry Pi 3s in here. Currently, all of them are on sale, so right now you can get the Raspberry Pi 5 4 gigabyte version for $49.99, that's 50 bucks. And then we have the Raspberry Pi 4. Uh, right now, that is not the correct price. Uh, I think that's $45, uh, $55 one each. So you get two, 54, Raspberry Pi 4. One gig, why do you even still make this one? $34.99, I'm surprised they even have that one. I didn't even see that one online. Uh, if you guys are using these for emulation, and I've, and I've made videos on this before, uh, stick with the four gigabyte version or eight gigabyte version, or at least eight, because Ubuntu and some of the other uh, system OSs, if you're using it for retro gaming, um, they use at least four gigabytes of RAM. So these won't even work, especially, I know they made a two gigabyte version for the Raspberry Pi 5. I don't know why. I mean, obviously if you're using something really low resource, but keep that in mind. You wanna make sure that you pair the RAM that you need with the corresponding OS, because some of this stuff won't even boot, just, just looking at this, because some of those OSs require four gigabytes of RAM uh, in order to RAM. So yeah, $69 right now for the eight gigabyte version. It's $10 off, it's normally $79.99. So we are going to browse around, check out and see what else they have here in the store. And then we will make our surprise announcement here at the end of the video. Yep. Let's see what else they got over here. Oh, you know what? I almost forgot the reason why I came down here. Every time I come here, I always forget the reason why I'm here. I need to pick up a storage drive for the... Uh, Lenovo Legion. All right, let's see, we got all of our storage options here. All right, let's go to the computer section. Yeah, let's see what they let's see what they got going on over here. All right, so we're still kind of browsing around Micro Center right now. I just picked up a brand new laptop for my wife today. Uh, we got her this version here. We have which one is this? Let's see, this is an Intel, oh, the Victus. Yeah, we got this one for $599. So out of all the laptops we saw in here today, uh, this was probably the best deal. It comes with a 4050 graphics card, 16 gigabytes of DDR4, and it has a nice little backlight on here for her. So I know you guys can't really see it here, but uh, she really typically likes something like this uh, for my wife Kisses. But as far as a economical PC, and she's not going to use it for gaming, but it does have a really good graphics card in here she's gonna be really happy with this so uh, Merry Christmas honey love you all right so back to my special announcement I was going to tell you that it's been a while and it's been some time that Micro Center has kind of moved away from the home arcade uh, market so with that being said I want to officially announce that uh, a photo was leaked to me a few days ago by inside contact from Micro Center and they are coming back 
very soon. So Micro Center is now bringing the home arcade market back to Micro Center. Uh, it's not going to be here in the store. Uh, the image that you're looking at on the screen was a photo of the unit that they are currently working on. It's going to retail for about $600 and it weighs approximately 50 to 60 pounds. So it will have some nominal weight to it. Now, if you guys are familiar with the original uh, Micro Center arcade cab. I think those were about $300 to $400 uh, for the standalone unit. However, as you can see here, you have a nice display. This is two players, uh, quite quickly fit, uh, has all the nice specs on it. I'm not sure as far as what kind of operating system that they're going to use, I believe, but you can either use a mini PC or a Raspberry Pi 5 uh, or Raspberry Pi, I'm sorry. But uh, the home arcade unit is coming back. I don't have an estimated time for it as of yet, but this unit does weigh for about 50 to 60 pounds and it will retail for $600. So they are coming back. Uh, it will have upgraded buttons and sticks and everything that you guys love. It's gonna be the very same type of quality that they've had before. And these will start making its rounds to Micro Center sometime around 2025. So as of right now, these are all the details. Uh, these are the only details that I have about this particular unit. If I do find out more, I will list it in the description or the comment section of this video. So uh, again, I know a lot of you guys are going to be happy. It's been some time now since Micro Center uh, kind of uh, stepped away from the home arcade market and they never really stopped. I know that there has been some gossip and people mentioning online that they have pulled away from that or they stopped doing it entirely. I think they just did more or less a reorganization of that standpoint. But uh, this is going to be a bigger better more powerful unit uh, that you guys have not seen pretty much in the home arcade mar market but I could tell you that it will be of a high quality caliber fashion so uh, that was a surprise I hope you guys like it so we're going to continue walking around this store seeing what else we can get ourselves into we got all the management staff in here today as you can see they are getting ready for all the Black Friday sales Oh, sweet, there's a nice laptop over there. We got a nice desktop over here. It's a nice Sigma. We got our little simulators here today. Man, I better hurry up and get out this store. You guys are taking all my money. <laughs> Man. As long as you like. Yeah. Let's see, my wife kisses me, wants some accessories, but we're going to have to hold off on that for another day. In three days, spent over three grand. But it's all going to take care of itself, pay itself off. Got some gifts for some friends, too. That's well deserving. Got some stuff for the channel that we need to demo. All right, this is all the storage section for Micro Center. We're always living in this section because every time I come down here, we're always running out of storage from some of the images, Retro Pie, Orange Pie, some of the other bills. So we kind of stack up on some of these over here too. I'm with my nephew Shiver today. I think we've kind of checked out everything today, right? Yeah, you just need to pick up a can of compressed air, but I got some of that laying around at the house. So. I uh, definitely want to thank all of you guys for watching here on the channel. Make sure you hit the uh, like and notification bell. We have some additional videos that we definitely want to show all of you. And it's been some time since I've actually been here at uh, Micro Center. Did a walkthrough. I was actually here a couple of months ago, but I never uploaded that video. I was here with family. We were just kind of chilling and hanging out. But um, I think I've kind of detailed all the high promotional options, all the great options right now at Micro Center. And so we'll take a look. Peace out. We'll catch you guys later. Bye-bye.